How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Here we got my buddy Archie's car here in for, uh, we're gonna do clutch master and clutch slave cylinder. Um, so this guy here, my buddy Archie, his uh, handle on YouTube is Pogi Cars. So why don't you guys go ahead and look him up, give him a follow. I'll put his uh, YouTube handle in the, the description. Um, <clears throat> my buddy here, he, he uh, purchased, was it highest mileage NSX? In the country i think last year for the best price um so this guy doesn't waste any time finished all the work body work got the wing on there wheel fitments on point i helped him source uh 1718 setup and then he's got the advanced front fenders and then he did this cool uh setup on the front here did a marga hills uh front bumper but then he had the headlight bucket molded to fit the normal front end without having to do uh, the Marga Hills um, headlights. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun car to work on today. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so first things first, gonna go ahead and take off the uh, Clutch Master cylinder here. So it's hiding right there behind the cruise control box. Um, so we'll take off these two 10 mils. Uh, may have to remove a couple of other brackets and, and stuff to make it easy uh, to access, but yeah, should be a pretty stri uh, straightforward removal. All right, so I ended up just taking off these two 10 mils up at the top. Um, now for the fun part, and I mean really fun, uh, we're going to remove the bolts back here. So we gotta go into the car underneath the knee bolster area and we're gonna have a real fun time doing that. Alrighty guys, so here's gonna be the trickiest part of the Clutch Master uh, removal and install. So if you notice those two 10, millim uh, 10 millimeter bolts, one right there and then one hiding back there. So we gotta remove those and then there's also a fork that we gotta remove right here. So it's held on by a cotter pin, as you can see. So, yeah, it's going to take a bit of uh, some little trickery here to take those off. But once those are removed, then the master will come off with these. You'll notice if your master is uh, bleeding, or I'm sorry, leaking, uh, there will be like wet spot right here underneath the clutch pedal. Um, in Archie's situation, his um, slave is leaking. So uh, the clutch master isn't leaking, but, you know. Might as well do both while we're at it, especially since they're, they both have super high mileage on them. Alrighty folks, after a bit of a long battle here with uh, the old Clutch Master, finally got it out of the car. So, word of advice, the clutch line here, it's a 12 mil, as well as the bolts here that go, uh, they re remove from underneath the clutch pedal. So definitely gonna need an um, extension, and like swivel socket to take these two bolts out and then <clears throat> the cotter pin there's a pin that goes in here and the cotter pin to remove that so that's also pretty tricky and kind of annoying to remove it but just have some patience and it'll come out sooner than you know it so yeah now to put the new one in alrighty so once you transfer over your reservoir um, and then you install the new seal what I like to do is um, <clears throat> go ahead and loosen up this bolt here. Um, this is what's responsible for any play in the clutch pedal before engagement. So Archie's was like pretty on the outskirt. Like, so whenever he depressed the clutch pedal, there's a lot of dead, like a dead pedal, like dead space. So um, I left this loose for now. We'll see how this works out, uh, but you know, we'll adjust as needed. But yeah, loosen this up first before you uh, assemble it because Honda puts these pretty tight from factory. Alrighty guys, so wrapping it up here on the reinstallation of the brand new clutch cylinder, the Clutch Master. Uh, so like I was explaining to you guys earlier, um, I wanted to make sure this is installed with no um, dead pedal or no, no play in the clutch pedal when you start to compress it. So <clears throat> it's took a bit of uh you know some work involved if i was a contortionist this would be way easier but i'm not unfortunately so 
I had to uh, get a little vice grips here and kind of hold that, hold the clutch fork. Um, and then with pretty much one hand, I'm compressing the clutch fork inward and then rotating the, <clears throat> or I'm sorry, ro pushing in the clutch, that shaft, and then rotating that little fork. So right now it's pretty much dead center. Um, so as soon as you start to compress the clutch pedal, the fork will um, depress. So now all I have to put in is the this little pin here. Uh, put the cotter pin in and then we should be good to go and then we'll get to the uh the slave shortly here all right guys so finally got the clutch master all bolted in and assembled um so pro tip is going to be for that brake line back there like i said it's a 12 mil um and then i had to kind of bend the line a little bit to um, remove it and then to put it in bend a little bit so <clears throat> just make sure um, you don't cross thread when you're screwing that back in um, and yeah just be patient with it because it's not uh, not the quickest job you know don't want to ruin anything so yeah now we're going to move on to the slave cylinder all righty so let's get to the slave cylinder here so as you can see archie slave is leaking pretty bad probably got a uh, just wear and tear from super high mileage um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take off this case first that way i have a little easier access to get to some of these bolts back here so we'll take this off and uh and then we'll take off the uh the slave there <clears throat> basically there's two 12 mil 12 millimeter bolts um behind the the hose so can see them in the in here but i'll show you guys in a bit well definitely uh needed replacement badly this is the old slave here new slave so when i remove this this thing just came right apart so that's not supposed to happen <laughs> so yeah good thing we got a new one here on hand I'm gonna go in here shortly Alrighty, guys so <clears throat> install is the re reverse of disassembly so these two 12, mi 12 millimeter bolts there get bolted on first i'm gonna go ahead and tighten those down here shortly and then we'll get the brake line installed i'm sorry the clutch line right and then yeah this is uh much easier than the clutch master I'll tell you that much <laughs> so yeah get this on and then we'll get to bleeding all right it's now at the point where we can go ahead and bleed the clutch line um and build up some pressure on the clutch pedal so if you have an nsx um the clutch master is in the front way up there and then the slave is back here so to get fluid all the way back here <clears throat> if you're doing the old school method and just pumping and pumping you're going to be there for a long time you're going to sit there pumping you're going to question your life you're going to be like why did I end up here? What decisions have I made to cause such jet detriment upon my soul? And it's just going to be a, a, a nightmare, right? You're going to be sitting there pumping and pumping just for half an ounce of fluid to come through this uh, bleeder nipple here. So, and mind you, that's after you struggled and, you know, tried out to be a part-time contortionist underneath the knee bolster you know putting in the new uh, clutch master so in order to save yourself some grief uh do yourself a huge huge favor and buy yourself this uh, capri tools speed bleeder kit set up here it hooks up to your air compressor um shout out to the homie nemo he showed me about this he introduced me to this kit um makes one man bleeding jobs for brakes clutch whatever it's just it's, it's a breeze so we're gonna go ahead and use this to lead the clutch line and show you guys how quick this is alrighty guys so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the clutch reservoir it's got some dot three here nothing fancy so the old clutch fluid is pretty dirty so we're gonna definitely 
<clears throat> do a little flush and drain all that out first before we end up uh, doing our final, you know, all the fluid that's in there, we'll seal it in with the good stuff. So that's filled up to the top. Now we'll come around here and what we're gonna do is <clears throat> we're gonna let the compressor, well, you'll, you'll see right now. So I'm gonna essentially um, get my eight mil, <clears throat> open up the bleeder valve and then turn on the, uh, the compressor air here. That way we can get uh, some vacuum going. So let's do that now. Alrighty, folks so essentially what i was doing was while the compressor is running um and the vacuum where the air the fluid was being returned to the reservoir here uh i was filling it up with the clutch fluid or brake fluid so the goal here was to oops take out all the old brake fluid so as you can see it's like pitch black so right now it was coming out clear the last couple minutes that we uh and then as you can see the reservoir needs a little bit uh to be topped off but once it's topped off you should have pressure on the clutch uh, clutch pedal air out for the peasants <laughs> 